sew to begin with, I'm starting with tape. I line this up against my lower lash line, angle it towards my brows and stick it down. And then I'm priming my lids to prevent any of the eyeshadows from creasing. I'm just using a Catrice primer. And then I set it with any face powder at all, um, just to get rid of any of the tackiness so that my eyeshadows blend smoothly onto the primer. I'm taking these two Inglot shadows to start off with and I'm just mixing them. This is gonna give me a really nice peachy color to start off as my transition color and I'm just blending that into the crease and then blending it up towards my brow bone to start off with and as I said this is a really nice transition color to begin with for any smoky eye. Then I'm just taking a clean brush and blending out the edges so that there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going in with Chickadee from Makeup Geek. This is new to me and I absolutely love it. I'm placing that on top of the colours I just set down and this is basically going to warm up the crease. You're not actually going to see this bright orange colour in the end look. You're just going to see it peeping out through the rest of the shadows and that's just going to give a nice warm smoky effect to the look. Next I'm going in with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and I'm just building this on top of Chickadee because as I said Chickadee is a bright kind of orange colour so this is just going to tone down that shade a little bit and just intensify the crease a little bit more. Now I'm going in with Lucy from Fuchsia which is a chocolate brown colour. It's gorgeous, lovely and rich and what I'm doing is I'm placing the majority of the shadow onto the outer half of my crease and then I'm blending whatever's left on the brush onto the inner part of the crease purely because I prefer the outer part of my crease to be nice dark and smoky and I don't want to close my eyes in too much by applying too much dark shadow to the inner part of my crease so I'm just intensifying the chocolate brown a little bit more in the outer half of my crease just to make sure that that's nice and defined and then I take a clean brush and give that a blend and I also blend out those edges again with that brush. Now I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I love this product. I'm using this today not to intensify the pigmentation but to give my loose pigment something to stick to. Today I'm using this fuchsia pigment called Copper and oh my god if you love copper you will love this. It's beautiful, it's metallic, it's bright and I just absolutely love it. So I'm using a flat brush to pack that on top of the NYX Jumbo Pencil and as I said that will give the pigment something to stick to and reduce any fallout on your face. And I'm going in with more of that Lucy shadow and then further intensifying the crease area just to smoke it up a little bit more. I wanted to add a little bit more brown shadow and then I'm giving it a blend again because you can never do too much blending. Then I'm taking this black shadow from Fuchsia. I honestly don't know the name but any black shadow is fine. I used a matte one and I'm placing this into the outer V of the eye area and then I'm using a light amount of pressure and just lightly feathering that into the crease just to add more intensity to the entire look. And then naturally you have to go in with your blending brush and give it a little bit of a blend because it is black and you don't want too much harshness there so just give it a nice blend. Next I'm taking Christy from Fuchsia and highlighting my brow bone. This is a gorgeous shimmery shade. Now time for liner. I'm using my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner and doing my normal wings liner. I basically just draw a thin line across my lid. I thicken it the further I go out and then I draw a line up against the tape and then join them together and fill in that little triangle area. It's that easy. I say that but I do have those days where it goes horribly wrong but the tape really really helps. Now I'm highlighting underneath my eyes using my concealer. I'm placing it in an upside down triangle area. You wanna make sure that you apply the concealer anywhere the tape may have removed your foundation. If you do go in with your foundation first before doing your eyes, that's what I like to do anyway. So just make sure that you um, cover up any blank patches that the tape may have created. And I just blend that in with my finger. I'm also applying a little bit onto the, my chin and I'm also applying some to my forehead area and then blending it down the bridge of my nose. I have quite a huge breakout on my forehead at the minute so I went in with a good bit of concealer on my forehead area just to conceal that and also highlight a little bit. Now I'm taking my Bourjois Healthy Mix powder and I'm just setting all that concealer so underneath the eyes and forehead and nose area and the chin and then I dust a tiny bit around the rest of my face just using a light hand. 
Now for the lower lash line, I'm going in with those two Inglot shadows mixed together and applying that to the lower lash line, blending it downwards a little bit. Then I go in with the Makeup Geek Chickadee eyeshadow, same kind of technique as what I did on top of the eyes. Then I'm going in with that Lucy shadow from Fuchsia and using kind of a smudge brush to apply that to the lower lash line area. I'm going to blend that out with a brush and then go back in with some more and really intensify it at the very, very root of the lower lashes. And then I'm going to highlight my inner corner with the same shimmery shadow I used on my brow bone. It's Christy from Fuchsia. I love an inner corner highlight. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline gel eyeliner and I am tight lining my eyes with this. And I'm also going to apply it to my bottom waterline to really make this eye look dramatic. I'm taking a smaller, more detailed eyeliner brush and this is how I'm going to do the inner corner wing with the exact same gel liner. Just take your time with this. It is tricky, but I love the finished effect of it. Then I'm just after a popping on some lashes off camera. Any ones will do of your own choice. And then any mascara again will do to just bind the natural lashes with the fake lashes. And of course, don't forget your bottom lashes. Then I'm going in with a bronzer from Benefit and I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit. So I'm applying it along my cheeks, the jawline, Temple and I'm also dusting a little bit on my forehead area all the usual places that I would bronze my face I'm just intensifying a little bit more at the cheek area because I like a nice contour there And then I'm going in with my NYX blush in taupe and the f32 brush from blank canvas and really chiseling out my cheekbones with that And I'm also going to slim down my nose with this color I'm also taking this autumnal kind of plum shade blush from sleek and i'm applying that to my cheeks and then blending it up towards my ear then i'm going in with this beaut which is oh darling from mac and i'm highlighting the tops of my cheekbones and also the bridge of my nose and cupid's bow this is just a nice golden highlight now for the lips, I'm taking Cabaret from NYX and I'm going to line my lips with this and I'm also going to fill them in with this to prolong the wear of my lipstick. I'm using a matte lip cream from NYX and it is called Copenhagen. It's just a gorgeous dark red colour and it's beautiful and these are a match made in heaven, Cabaret and Copenhagen. They go perfectly together. And that is basically the finished look. I myself love a good copper eye. I cannot get enough copper myself. And this pigment from Fuchsia was just beautiful. I was immediately drawn to it. So I really wanted to do a tutorial around it. It's just gorgeous with blue eyes. But I think this tone of copper would pretty much complement any eyes. It's just gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Bye.